Hello dear and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hope. In this video, I made classic Nigerian stew that can be used for swallow, paired with steamed leafy vegetable or okra. If you want to see how I made this tasty stew and okra, please watch till the end. If you are new to my channel, I'll appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you. Here are the ingredients for this stew. But don't worry, the full list of the ingredients is contained in the description box below. Feel free to check it out. Thank you. Don't limit yourself to my choice of protein. Use any protein or the combination of protein of your choice. I season my ox there like so and set it on the stove to cook in its own juice for 5 minutes. I add salt in water to parboil my cow tripe or my shaki like so. I add water like so 5 minutes later to enable the cow tail to cook. minutes later the shark is ready as I test it so I decant the water. At this time the oxtail is half cooked so I'm going to introduce the meat. I add the parboiled cow tripe or shaki at this time to finish cooking with the cow tail and the beef. For the stew base, I shall be making use of these diced tomatoes. This is already boiled plum tomatoes, red bell peppers, habanero peppers and cut up white onions. I shall be blending all this together. I check on the meat. Yes, everything has cooked fine. I pour the blended tomatoes into a pot with the pepper mix to boil and reduce in size. Fry my meat like so. You can use your oven function to dry yours in the oven. I like to add some palm oil to achieve that little buka like taste because we know we're going to use this too not just for rice and other things but for swallow also so i like the taste of palm oil with it for my spice choice i shall be using just curry and thyme for this too onion has been frying for the last three minutes and it has softened so I add my boiled tomatoes like so. Seven minutes later, I add some beef stock. I taste for salt and add another seasoning cube. I add my 
oxtail at this time i want it to boil and absorb the tomato taste very well I stir very nicely and I add the cow tripe at this time. Five minutes later, I combine the stew nicely. Please, when you're making your stew, don't stay very far away so that your stew will not burn. At this time, I add the fried meat. This stew is almost ready, guys. Friends, this stew is smelling so 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 good and it is cooked. I prepare my okra like so. Just follow what I am doing from beginning to end. At this time, I want to say thank you to all my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing and you guys are the wing behind my seal. I appreciate you guys. Please keep coming back, okay? Thank you so much. Please let me have your comments. And also remember to click the like button. Remember you can also share this video with your friends and family. Thank you. For my okra, I like having some chunky and then I'll blend the remaining one. You know, um, if you blend all of them, it will just be like a, a mushy paste. I like having some chewiness in my okra soup. So I chop some and I blend some. To an empty pot, I add some cooked beef stock. I shall be making my okra with this beef stock. It adds a lot of flavors to the okra. I add some water to the beef stock so that it will be sufficient for the quantity of okra I want to make. And I add some chopped habanero pepper. It's just one pepper. This adds spiciness to the okra. To the boiling beef stock, I add these clean divin shrimps. I like adding this sometimes when I make okra. If you have fresh one, you use. If you have dried one, you use. But this is entirely optional. You could add. You may not also add. And another star for this okra is iru. This is locust bean. This packs a lot of flavors in this okra. It gives you that soupy taste, if you get what I mean. <laughs> I had just added the blended okra so that it could combine and dissolve very well. The blended okra has dissolved very well, so now I want to add the chopped up okra because I like this okra to be crunchy. I like to bite into it when I eat, so this is going to be on this stove top for just a few minutes see how dry and stretchy this okra turned out very well this okra cooked for a total of five minutes I serve this okra and stew with my yellow gari. The recipe for this yellow gari or how I made this yellow gari is in the description box below. Just follow what I'm doing. If you, you don't know how to make gari, it's very, very easy. I want to thank you for watching this video up to this time. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Also remember to like, share and leave me your comments in the comment section. 
Thank you. Our gare that will serve as the swallow is ready. Please, you can also use any other swallow of your choice, okay? I plate this food like so and it tasted so good. Let me have your comments. If you try this recipe, let me know how your own came out, okay? This was really delicious. I appreciate you. God bless you till my next video. Bye.